Morning. Today we are just outside of Mount Sherman behind me. And you may think we're going to be hiking Mount Sherman, but that's not the case. Today we're going to be hiking Horseshoe Mountain via the Boudoir Couloir. For a full trail guide of the Boudoir Couloir on Horseshoe Mountain, you can check the link in the description below. Horseshoe Peak is either a six or eight mile round trip hike. If you do the Couloir up and down, it's six. If you do the Northwest Ridge, which I'll be hiking down today, it's an eight mile round trip hike. Uh, it is a 13er and it is also a centennial as well. The hike starts uh, just before Sherman Peak here. And uh, in summer months, if you have a four wheel drive car, you may be able to drive up a bit further. But usually in the spring and winter, this snowbank is just the end of the road for you. Unlike Sherman Peak, which is generally very crowded, Horseshoe Mountain will be far less crowded. But the Boudoir Couloir is a relatively easy snow climb and popular ski route as well. So in the winter and spring, you'll most likely see people here on uh, an average weekend, but nowhere near the people you'd see on Mount Sherman in the summer. First trail junction of the day, and you're gonna take a left to continue up to Horseshoe Peak. For today's gear list, you're going to need a mountain axe, a helmet, crampons, boots that accept crampons, and of course, your usual hiking backpack. If you're hiking or skiing this couloir in the winter months, you're gonna wanna take an avalanche kit as well. So probe, beacon, and shovel. Another road junction, there's gonna be another Y, and you're gonna wanna take a right and work your way up the hill this way. Beautiful sunrise, colorful. After a very short approach, you're gonna see the mountain and couloir here attempting today. So this right around the middle here is Horseshoe Peak. And this line right here is the couloir you're going to be going up, the boudoir couloir. This is an east facing couloir, which means you're gonna to wanna to get an early start on it because the sun hits it right off the mat and uh, it'll turn soft very quickly, but a very straightforward line and uh, can't wait to get into the base of it. Just over a mile into your hike, you're gonna have two basic options to approach. You can continue up the road, which is a little bit up there, high and cut across, or you can have a more direct route and just kind of cut across the field here. Like many and most of the 13ers, there's not an official trail for Horseshoe Mountain, especially the Boudoir Couloir. Uh, so I'm gonna use my best judgment today, move it quickly and uh, just go across the dry land. closer look at the upper basin here. So you're gonna to wanna to hang to the right to approach. In the earlier months, when these cliff sides are not melted out, be careful of wet slides and rock fall from this side as well. Just popped on the crampons. Definitely gonna to have to adjust these. Forgot the last time I wore my snowboard boots on, but from here, just going to traverse across and then around this slope to the base of the boudoir couloir. What a beautiful scene up here. Just a really pretty little basin. So I'm just going to work up this hill and then uh, really transition into the uh, climb. transitioned into my climbing gear here. So the boudoir couloir is about 900 feet of climbing 
and then you're shortly after that on the summit of Horseshoe Mountain, about 300 yards-ish. This is a very mellow snow climb, so it really doesn't top out more than 40 degrees, so think of that as like a, a blue-black square at a ski resort, if you, or you know what those are. So not super steep, uh, but sustained. Towards the top, there is also sometimes a cornice, so beware of that as well. I've been hearing some rock fall a bit, but nothing in the couloir itself, just been around these rocky slopes here, but definitely helmet up and uh, listen for signs of incoming rockfall. While I'm taking a quick break, giving you some views. Let's talk about the season for the boudoir couloir. This is a pretty good line in the winter, so late March, and the snow will usually stick until about uh, mid to end of June before it gets too bony. Uh, this is a pretty average snow year right now, and you can see uh, it's about the beginning of June and snow is pretty prime. From here, the couloir exit is gonna take a slight bend to the left, and that's typically where the cornice will be, but there is not one right now, which is great. Looking down, about three quarters away. Of the way up, boudoir couloir. Beautiful views. This is the grade right here. So the last part is the steepest, uh, but again, it won't max out at much more than 40. I measured earlier, it was about 31 degrees, and that was a bit lower and it's been pretty sustained. So it does get a bit steeper, so maybe upper 30s, but uh, really not very steep in this couloir, which makes it a nice, easy intro climb. One last look down, the boudoir couloir before uh, topping out here. Overall, pretty fun climb. Very, very straightforward. Very good snow and pretty easy, all things considered. Popped out of the boudoir couloir. The views, man. Beautiful up here. So this way, you got Mount Sherman through there. And you can see kind of the four-wheel drive road that worked its way up, and that'll be the way we go down. From here, the summit of Horseshoe Peak is just straight up this way, a short climb away. Somebody's second home went wrong. After you leave the failed vacation home, you're gonna just continue up to on the summit of Horseshoe Mountain. Windy, windy, windy. All right, finally out of the wind for a bit and uh, stayed at the summit for like less than five minutes just because it was so windy. 
and yeah, I know storms are rolling in as well. Uh, but so from the summit, you're just going to want to take the uh, north ridge down basically to the saddle of Peerless Peak. And then from there, you're going to take the old four wheel drive road or a combination of uh, that and just uh, off roading it straight back to where you started right around here. As you work down from the saddle of Horseshoe Mountain, you're going to pass through several mining ruins. And just a crazy reminder that people used to live and work in these insane environments. Back down now from most of the uh, descent, you can see boudoir behind me. There's actually two people working up it right now. Overall, a great couloir, a great day, a nice short hike. Uh, Horseshoe Mountain via the boudoir couloir. What a mouthful, I keep saying that. Uh, it was, it's gonna be about six to seven miles depending on your exact descent. As I mentioned, a solid snow climb, a solid ski descent if you're looking for that as well. For a full trail guide and more information about Horseshoe Mountain via the Boudoir Coulard, you can go ahead and check the link below. Uh, if you want to watch more 13er hikes or Coulards, you can go ahead and check the playlist I have linked below as well. If you're new to my channel, please give that subscribe button a consideration. I do hike virtual trail guides and gear reviews and much more on the channel. Please subscribe not to miss any future hike related content. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you on the next adventure.